this video is about the equation of a line, equation of a straight line. The equation of a straight line is in the form y equals mx plus c. m is m here, m is the gradient. So that's how steep the line is. For every one it goes across, how much does it go up or down? c is the y-intercept. Intercept. That is where it crosses the y-axis. So the point where it crosses the y-axis is called the y-intercept. So we can work out the equation of a line by working out the gradient and the y-intercept. X and y are just x and y. They're from, they're from the graph. This is x, this is y. So look at these lines here and let's work out their gradient and their y-intercept. So let's start with the white line. So the white line, the gradient, every one it goes across, how much to go up or down? So every one it goes across, it's going up two spaces. So that means it's got the white line has got a gradient of two. And it's y-intercept, that's where it crosses the y-axis. So it crosses the y-axis at one. So C is one. So for the white line, y equals two x plus one. That's the equation of the white line. The red line, so every one it goes across, it's going up one space. So it's got a gradient of one. It's y-intercept, crosses the y-axis at two. So it's got a y-intercept of two. So that means y equals one x, or just x plus two. That's the equation of the red line. And finding the blue line, so for every one it goes across, it's going down three. Every one it goes across, down three. So it's got a gradient of minus three. And its y-intercept is at zero. So C is zero. So y equals minus three x. I'm not going to write plus zero. That's it. That's the equation of the blue line. So see if you can have a go and do the same thing. If you can work out the gradient. So the gradient m and the y-intercept c of each of these lines. Okay, let's start by looking at the white line. So every one it goes across, it's going down two spaces. So that means it's got a gradient of minus two. It's crossing the y-axis at three. So c is three. That means the equation is y equals minus two x plus three. The blue line, let's look at next. So every one it goes across, is a good point. Every one it goes across is going up three. One across, up three. So it's got a gradient of three, and it's crossing the way is at six. So C is six, so Y equals three X plus six. That's the gradient of the red line. Blue line, and the red line. Every one it goes across, it goes up one. Nice and simple. So M is one. The Y intercept is at minus one. So C is minus one. So Y equals one X, or just X minus one. Okay, so this one's a little bit harder because we haven't got the, the graph to look at. We've just got to look at the coordinates. So we can work out the gradient given two coordinates using the formula. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Changing y divided by changing x. Changing y over changing x. So let's call these x1, y1, x2, y2. And substitute them in to find the gradient. So 11 minus 5 over 4 minus 2. So 6 over 2, 3. So we know m is 3. So it's y equals 3x plus c. We don't know what c is yet though. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute in a set of x and y's into the formula. Substitute it in for x and y to find c. So we're going to change x to 2 and y to 5. So 5 is 3 x, which is 2, plus c. 5 is 6 plus c. Take 6 from both sides. c is minus 1. So the equation of the line, y equals 3x minus 1. Okay, let's do another example of that. So 
first step is finding the gradient, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So x1, y1, x2, y2. We could do that the other way around, but I always do 1, then 2, just to, I don't know, just so I don't have to think about it. So y2 is minus 5, minus y1, which is 1. x2 is 4, minus x1, which is 2. So minus 6 over 2, that's minus 3. So the gradient is minus 3, so y equals minus 3x plus c. We don't know what c is, so we substitute in a set of values. So we're going to substitute the 2, 1 in. So x is 2, y is 1. Minus 3 times 2 plus c. 1 is minus 6 plus c. So c must be 7. So y equals minus 3x plus 7. Okay, see if you can have a go at these questions. So first you work out the gradient. Um, and then substitute in to our equation of the line. Okay, so the first one, we've got, let's do x1, y1, x2, y2, and I write the gradient equation up here, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, changing y over changing x. So the gradient, the sub, all for m, y2, 15 minus 3 over 5 minus 2. 12 over 3, that's 4. So we've got y equals 4x plus c. Substitute in the 2 and the 3. So we've got 3 equals 4 times 2 plus c. That's 3 equals 8 plus c. c is minus 5. So we should end up with y equals 4x minus 5. Okay, uh, x1, y1, x2, y2. So the gradient is 6 minus minus 8 over 2 minus minus 5. That's 14 over 7, which is 2. So y equals 2x plus c. Substitute in, this one's going to be easier, so I'm going to substitute in the second one because they're positive numbers. Um, 6 equals 2 twos plus c. 6 equals 4 plus c. So c must be 2. So y equals 2x plus 2. And finally, so x1, y1, x2, y2. Substitute into the formula we've got up here. So minus 9 minus 1 over 3 minus minus 2. Minus 10 over 5 m is minus 2. y equals minus 2x plus c. I was substituting the first one, so y is 1 and x is minus 2. Minus 2 times minus 2 is a positive 4. And so c must be minus 3. So I've got y equals minus 2x minus 3.